You'll see something very similar to this after you set up your LearnPad and scanned your first lesson profile QR key. This is a lesson profile home screen. You can see that I've scanned the Year 1 Plants profile by looking at the top left of the screen. The main part of the screen has some large icons. These are called categories, which are the folders inside which apps, links and other resources are stored. Let's have a look inside this Plants and Trees category. There are a few different types of resource here. Pupils can watch videos, have a go at online activities and follow links. If you see a greyed out icon, like this deciduous or evergreen presentation, you just need to tap on it and the resource will be downloaded, ready to use. Let's run over what you can see in the top right of the tablet. Up here, you can see the name of the LearnPad and tap to log in. Unless your network manager has set this up differently, you should just see a space to type your name. This is a simple login. There's no password required, but it just lets you know that the LearnPad's being used by a particular pupil. I've typed my name in and you can see a little avatar has been chosen for me. Next to the login section is a little padlock. The vast majority of the time we recommend that the tablets are kept in locked student mode. Mine's unlocked right now, so I'll tap to lock it. The only time they need to be unlocked is when a teacher would like to access their tools. Moving along further to the right, you'll see the QR key icon. If you'd like to move on to a different lesson, tap this icon and hold your LearnPad up to a QR key. The QR key itself can be any size from a small one scanned from our resource guide to a massive one you've put up on the board. As long as you hold the LearnPad parallel to it, the camera should detect it automatically. Now I've loaded the Key Stage 1 Explorer's lesson profile onto my LearnPad and it's locked in. Going back to the icons along the top right of the screen, you'll see the next one's a little toolbox. This is the most powerful thing on the LearnPads. Here you'll find a range of free apps that can be used across the curriculum in a variety of ways. We'll be creating videos showing how to use these in more depth. Your tools might not look quite the same as these. If you'd like to update them, change your organisation's tools category to LearnPad Tools. For more information about how to do this, search our support articles for the word Toolbox. To get back to the lesson profile, I can press the little arrow to the left of LearnPad Tools or use the Home button along the bottom bar. Now let's have a little look at the three dots in the top right. Pressing the extended menu gives you a range of options to choose from. If you set up places, pupils can select this and choose their classroom. Teacher is greyed out at the moment because this LearnPad's locked. Let's unlock it briefly so we can have a look at the teacher tools. To unlock it, just tap the padlock and enter the password. All LearnPads come with a default password of 101 Teacher with a capital T. This can be changed through the portal. Going back to the tricolon, you can see that the teacher option is now available. From here, the teacher can access device settings to change brightness or location settings or enable accessibility options, for example. They can also access a web browser that isn't locked down to certain content, create quizzes using Socrative Teacher, or take a look at the resources we have available for the LearnPad through the curriculum selector. OK, that's the top bar icons. How about along the bottom? If you're already familiar with Android, you might recognise some of these. Working from left to right, the little picture of the camera will take a screenshot when you tap it. This is a really useful tool to capture the children's work simply and easily. A notification will go up to the bar saying the screenshot's been saved. And from here, you can open the screenshot and share it to the class cloud straight away by choosing the class cloud option. Just tap send and it will arrive at the teacher's portal hand-ins. Next to the screenshot button is the volume down button and over here on the other side, you can turn the volume up. The central three icons are useful for navigating around the device. The home button right in the center will always bring you back to the lesson profile that's loaded onto the learn pad. To the left of this is the back button and to the right is the Recent Apps button. This shows you what's running in the background. 
If some of these don't need to be running anymore, you can swipe to shut them down. Don't forget that at any point, if you want to get back to the main lesson profile screen, press the home button in the bottom centre. Hopefully, you're now familiar with the basic functions of the LearnPad.